baby in a bag, yo. What kind of shit is going on out here? As she's sitting outside, it was moving. We didn't know what it was. We, we, where on earth did you find the shot? Right in the back of the house over here. That's, that's what I, it. yeah. It's right in the house. She was really nasty, pissy. I don't know how long it's been since she's she had been had Still got stuff on her head, too. Yeah, it's yeah. yeah, all right. At least two yep. days. She opened a bag. I seen that head. So I ran I over there. I'm like, a baby was in there? It's one of the most horrendous crimes that the state of New York has ever encountered. An eight-month-old baby is found inside of a plastic grocery bag behind a house in an Elmira neighborhood. Although police would be shocked to learn that she has miraculously survived, in this never-before-seen footage, authorities will discover the unimaginable horror that was forced upon the innocent child, along with the sadistic monster who would commit the unthinkable. The summer heat is beginning to creep in on August 8, 2017, when Elmira authorities respond to the horrifying 911 call, a baby has been found all alone. A baby in a bag, yo. What kind of shit is going on out here? We found her over, over here, excuse me. Yo, yeah. If you could do me a favor, just don't touch that bag. Uh, can I grab some of the towel? Yeah. Yeah, five. The baby breathing? Yeah, baby. Yeah, she's, she's very hungry, though. Okay. I'm sorry, I, I have children in my No, home. no, thank, thank you for your help. Thank you. I know. I know. I know. Hold on. She's hungry and she's pale. Probably pale. Yeah. I've got her eyes to open. They're closed. You did. They were closed. Yeah, and I got them open. Thank you. Honey, I don't have kids of my own. Just sorry, but it's. Hey, that's good. <sighs> Thank you. You're welcome. You guys you did the right thing. Night. Thank you. Yeah, yeah. You guys saved that kid's life. Yes, we did. We have I'm shaking. I've never had seen this before in my life. Yeah, I've been a pressure baby. Yeah, absolutely. Look what we found. So mm -hmm. when when did this all just happen? Just now, huh? Just, just now. Like it just like we didn't know what it was. Minutes minutes was that dog. Would you we be didn't... would you be able to show me exactly where yes. you found the baby? Um, yeah. The woman leads the officer outside, where she discloses a most heartbreaking revelation. Ooh, right over there. Right here. Right. Maybe if I okay, you see it. Yeah. That's just how fully been advised that. Right here. I'm talking about her way. You can smell the in the past. That's what. Yeah. It's raining. Right here in the area. She was really nasty, pissy. She had still got stuff on her head. So it's all right. At least two days. Let me let me talk with the officer. All right. I don't want nobody taking we stole a child and then I just found. No 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 no. Do the right thing. We went out and checked. Heard it for two days. How you heard the baby for two days? I didn't hear the baby at all. No, I didn't hear it in the bag. I just heard it cry. Uh, was around the corner. See, that baby would be dead by now. It was in the bag for two days. The ambulance won't be fine. The ambulance won't figure it out. That's crazy. Somebody want to do that. That shit is scary, man. Full of poison ivy and shit. Right her face, right? Yeah, yeah, her eye, her one eye looks yeah, like she's in her whole eye. Yeah, like she hit something or what? Or what? I, it looked almost, almost like a rash, like and the like rash swelled up the eye. Actually, when she yeah. was working on her, I could see it all down her chest. So you, had, you actually had heard this noise for about two days' time? Mm -hmm. Many of the residents believe the crying sounds to be that of a baby inside of someone's home, while others thought it to be an animal. However, the horrific truth is that someone had callously abandoned the child outside. But investigators aren't too far off of the monster's trail, where every twisted secret will inevitably come to light. And it's only in the morning you could hear it. And I didn't think nothing of it because you hear babies cry all the time. Okay. Was there something that stuck out about this? That... It, just the same kind of cry at the same time for two mornings in a row. So two yesterday, mornings in a row? Yesterday morning yes. and then this morning? No, yesterday morning. Well, today, today would be the third day. It's an utter miracle that the child has survived after being abandoned for three days. Clearly, she would have suffered a different fate had she not been rescued when she was. So you were up I on see, the porch? Yeah, we was right there. I was with them. Okay. Watching. They like, oh, you see it over there? I'm like... I'm thinking it's just a bag of garbage. They said it's moving. I'm like, it's not moving. The they thought it was a dog. He opened a bag. I seen that head. So I ran over there. My like, baby was in there. I see the leg. The leg. The baby is quickly rushed to the hospital. It's a heartbreaking scene to watch as medical staff do everything in their power to help the little girl who is fighting for her very life. No fight. There's no fight at all. She's just laying there. Sleep or I don't know. One there looks like it's swollen it's shut. Or, here, he says he's talked to a guy down there that said he was hearing off and on, the off baby and crying on. for two days. So it's very well could have been out there for that long. I mean, I don't know. Six told it, you know, she was covered with bugs. Yeah. 
feces and well, that's what scared me. feces and everything else. So. Back at the house, officers continue talking to the horrified residents of the neighborhood, hoping to uncover any bits of information as to who might have committed such an evil crime. Soon, they're met with a shocking discovery. They went staying there. Her name is Harriet. She just had a baby a few months ago. I think it was like four or five months ago. Uh, sure. Harriet? Yeah, her name is Harriet. You know her last name? Authorities now have somewhat of a lead. However, there isn't too much to go on yet, but that will quickly change when someone else makes their way onto the scene. Can they tell you why? My daughter told me that they found a little girl in the backyard. And she was like, she Yes. We need to find out who the baby is. This is Shirley, the owner of the house where the baby was heartlessly abandoned. She tells investigators that her daughter, Jody Forrest, currently lives in the home. However, Shirley also explains that a Daniel Forrest also resided in the house at one point, although it's unclear if he and Jody are separated or divorced. Nonetheless, this will go on to play a large role in tracking down the sadistic culprit. With the little information they have, police eventually discover their lead suspect to be 17-year-old Harriet Hoyt. The teenager is from Sayre, Pennsylvania, but investigators are now wondering if she may have taken a trip to Elmira, New York, with the most sinister agenda in mind. Malnourished. Yeah, she's in Dehydrated. Pound in a bottle of milk in the right now, but it's for what kind of maggots out of her eyes. Still. Still. Um, still. They found them. Because yeah. they did this. Yeah. That's the truth. Oh, you guys gonna get them? Yeah, everybody everybody feels that way. This ain't right. right. Yeah. You ride the lightning on this one. Yeah. You can't say I grabbed the load. You can put it on the porch, put it in the supermarket, took it to the police station. You put a weight back there in there. You wanted that baby to mm. die. Mm. At the hospital, medical staff continue attending to the child's wounds. However, they're still in absolute shock due to the incomprehensible situation at hand. But the suspect can only stay hidden for so long. And the truth is just moments away. And was this a plastic garbage bag, paper bag? That's, that's what I was told, it was a plastic garbage I mean, bag. Obviously it wasn't close, so it was be. Kind of monster to do this. During this time, an officer makes a baffling discovery when he locates Harriet's Facebook account. On it is a shocking and disturbing post. That's not, oh, is that her? But it's 12.30 a.m. That's yesterday, yes. uh, just after midnight. Right, so she could have just posted it on Yeah. Yeah. Puts a smile on his face. Yeah, there you go. In a horrific revelation, authorities learned that Harriet had supposedly posted a picture of her own child just one day prior. That child would turn out to be eight-month-old Sabrina Hoyt, the baby who was seemingly left for dead. However, what makes this all the more disturbing is the fact that Harriet uploaded the picture while Sabrina was inside of a plastic bag, all alone, nowhere near her mother. It seems like the teenager may have done this in an attempt to throw off suspicion, but it only goes to show her cruel and callous nature. Nature. Eventually, authorities were able to track down the 17-year-old mother, who quickly made a horrifying confession. She told investigators that she'd asked her stepmother to drive her and Sabrina from Sayre, Pennsylvania to Elmira, New York, in order to visit Jody on August 5, 2017. She further states that she informed her stepmother that Jody had reportedly left the back door open for Harriet and Sabrina to enter the home. However, this is a bold-faced lie. Once the teenager and her daughter were at the house, they sat on the back porch before Harriet made a phone call to her friend, Alexis Shadow. But the conversation supposedly turned volatile, in which Harriet became upset. In her police statement, she confessed, I was already stressed and depressed prior to this, and this argument did not help me. I think I snapped and I didn't want to do anything physically to harm Sabrina because of my anger. I decided that I needed some time away from Sabrina, so I decided to walk away from her. Before I left, I decided that I wanted for Sabrina to be safe, so I placed her into a garbage bag so she wouldn't get cold or rained on. I then took the bag with Sabrina in it and placed it over near some bushes in the backyard area. I stayed with Jody throughout the weekend and I never told anyone what I did to Sabrina. Apparently, she left Sabrina between the hours of 11 a.m. and 12 p.m. In addition, Harriet states that she informed people that Sabrina's father was taking care of the child for a couple of days. But the heartbreaking truth remains that Harriet heartlessly abandoned her child. The 17-year-old mother was taken into custody and charged with attempted murder 
in the second degree. Thankfully, Sabrina would make it out alive of the unthinkable horror. In December of 2017, Harriet pleaded guilty to attempted murder in the second degree and was later sentenced in February 2018 to nine years in prison, in addition to five years of post-release supervision. If she'd gone to trial, Harriet could have been facing up to 25 years in prison had she been found guilty.